Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be re-upholstering this bench. Um, when I first, we first got it, I got it from the thrift store and I think the top was burgundy. Um, and I ripped that off and covered it with this um, because I didn't know what I was really doing, but it's not like an expensive piece of fabric, of course, and it's gotten some stains. So I'm going to use this throw that I got from Walmart that I hauled a couple weeks back. Um, I have these little foam squares. I've literally had these probably since we moved here. Whenever I got this bench and I was supposed to use it, um, I really need to get some reinforcements, like some type of uh, wood, but for right now, I'm just gonna get it done. Um, I got my staple gun and my staples, and let's get started. Okay, guys, I'm going to spread the blanket out so it will be straight and even when I get ready to flip the bench over. So now I'm removing all of the old fabric off and I'm having to cut it off. I did not remove the old staples because literally guys, I had no strength. My arms were really, really hurting and I'm like, what was I thinking? So before I start making any major cuts, I'm just going to try to like pull it tight and then staple as I go. And then you'll see me eventually um, cutting the fabric away and stuff like that. I'm finally utilizing the time lapse feature on my phone and I love it. I'm out of breath. I'm tired. I'm hurting. <laughs> so that is that quick little DIY, how you can repurpose things that you already have for inexpensive. Um, because if you try to buy faux fur fabric, like I really wanted, um, you're talking about over $20 a yard. So I still have a lot left so I can make pillows. Um, so if I do, cause I do have some pillows in the garage, like throw pillows, I'll, um, do a tutorial, um, on that, but it was simple. Um, I love thrifting. I have not been in like forever. Uh, I want to say maybe four months. I was going almost every weekend when we first, uh, moved into the house just to see like what could I get to repurpose that we're not spending a whole bunch of money because we do not believe in going broke or like financing things uh, like furniture type stuff. If you have to, that's fine, that's on you. But um, a lot of times after you finance stuff like that, unless you got a 0% interest and you're paying it off in that a lot of time, you're paying for furniture or whatever twice. But um, I think when I get, I'm looking for a headboard. I don't know if I want to go with gray or like beige, um, to keep it neutral. If, you know, if we switch up the colors and stuff in the room, so I probably will go with beige. Um, so whenever that happens, I may, uh, do the legs on here a different color, but for right now it matches Michael's old, old furniture. Um, one day I'll be able to get this out of here and put it in the closet, but for right now, we're stuck with it. So the only thing I can say is I have, uh, the shedding 
from the fraying of the um, blanket. Um, and that was to be expected because it's, it's a blanket. Uh, so that was the only drawback. But I tried to make sure that underneath I tuck the parts that I cut. I tucked it and then stapled it. Um, of course, everything underneath may not be perfect. But hey, it's just us in the house. And I think it looks good. And adding the cushions uh, should be helpful for the areas that looks like it's a little sunken until I can get like a piece of plywood to put underneath the bottom part. But yeah, I'm excited about it. So hope you guys enjoyed. Be blessed.